biggest ovation of the whole evening. I'm 
wonderful and free <laughs> you have given me have given me all that I'll ever need, <laughs> all that I'll ever need, mm -hmm. that's why I can sing, I am free. Give him the biggest ovation of the whole evening. Come on up here, Christian. You know, there's a changing of the guard that's happening. There's a lot of people in the world that are in for the entertainment value. But have you noticed the whole system is crumbling? Come up here, Jamie. I believe it's impossible to put new wine in old wineskins. And it's not a sin to take music of the world and use it for God. But it is a travesty if we are limited by the world's music. But from the portals of heaven, I believe there is a clarion call. Where are the worshipers? I believe it's worship and the sounds of praise that will usher in the King of Kings. I believe he's not coming for a silent people. And I believe that the music of, that bears his name can no longer be the same. You really bless me, brother, with your steel drums. You really bless me. And CC, you've stayed true to the call. You've stayed true to the call. And your best days are ahead of you, not behind you. They're ahead of you. Sandy, that goes for you too. You sing just as great as always. You do. You know, there's something about a song. There's something about a sound. Can you get a better sound in this, like a keyboard? You know, I don't know this keyboard. Give me like something that's got something. Years ago, God told me I want to hold you account accountable for heavenly sound. When Christian, this, this is not working for what And now it is. When you play the bass, brother, Whatever God is on the inside of you comes out. Play. Play. What a lot of people don't realize is the presence of the Lord is contagious. And when the presence of the Lord comes, if you have cancer, you can be healed. If you're lonely, you can be delivered. When the presence of the Lord comes, joy can fill your heart that you've not felt for years and years and years and years. The joy that passes all understanding. And it can happen when the simplest song is sung. We don't need the greatest songs, we just need hearts that are great toward our God. That's why I love Elsie so much. 
she can't really sing and she knows it but when she stands up God comes out bigger than life and when it gets said and done what the people really want to hear is a little more God and see a little more God in action we don't need another song we don't need another melody all we need is Jesus setting men free we don't need another song we don't need another melody all we need is Jesus the sounds and making people free like right now just open up your heart come on Christian let him ride the sounds into your life will you come on Lord Lord we worship you Lord we magnify your name Lord you set aside our agendas Lord and your wonders we proclaim for you are our hero, Lord. You are our soon coming king. And we magnify you. 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 We are filled with you. We are consumed by you. We are consumed. We are consumed. We are consumed with you. I go to F. Father, you alone may my spirit yield. Father, you alone, you're my heart's desire and I long, but I long to worship you. Father, you are you're my friend, and you're my brother even, though you are my king, Father, you're my everything, I, I want you so much more than any other, so much more, so much more than anything. To you alone, may my spirit yield. Oh, you alone, you're my heart's desire, and I long, but I long to worship thee, yeah. but I long to worship. I long to worship you and you alone, but I long to worship Jesus. I long to worship you, but I long to worship
put melodies and heavenly harmonies inside of you for such a time as this. So don't be afraid, son, to go where you've not gone before and don't be stuck. Because there are sounds of heaven that are coming like the rushing mighty winds. There are going to be songs that the heathens will sing and not know what they're singing. They just know that when they sing, they feel my presence. Some of it will sound like island music, but some of it will sound like heavenly sound.
son right there. His name is Jamie. He'll take my place. When he was a little boy, he said, I want to sound like you. I said, well, you've come to the right house. Can't be taught. It's in the blood. You know, praise is in the blood. Worship is in the blood. Jesus, you're so merciful. 
faithful You're forever mighty And God in the reverse Oh, bless, blessed Trinity Father, we worship you Holy, holy, holy And your Lord God, the Almighty Early in the morning My song will rise
wonderful to me Almighty Counselor You are my Prince of Peace Almighty Counselor You are all to me Lord, I magnify your mighty name Forever I will proclaim You are worthy You are worthy to here 
is wonderful to our ears because it cannot be bought and it cannot be prompted. And there's something wonderful about when worship is born that way. It takes a certain desperation for God. We live in a world that's desperate for many, many things. But oh, I covet a desperation for God. I truly believe that something wonderful will come out of these times. Because in worship, there is balance. It's easy to get out of balance in our life. Worship puts things in proper perspective. There's a verse that says, God inhabits the praises of Israel. You know that verse. In the Amplified, it says, the holy place where the praises of Israel are offered. Whenever you worship God, or you just begin to sing a song of praise to Him, you have just made where you're standing a holy place. When you think about that, it doesn't require a great melody. You don't have to be a great singer. No. God's looking for hearts. The only thing that Jesus ever said God was looking for was true worshipers. Those that would worship, there's three kinds of worshipers, truth and little spirit, spirit and little truth, and spirit and truth. Probably today are represented many different persuasions of faith. It is really high time that we set aside our differences there's something wonderful about worship. When you worship God, all of a sudden it's not about the differences. It's about His worthiness. All of a sudden it's not about what we disagree on. So if you see what somebody shout and you're not one that does, relax. If you see somebody dance and you're not one that does, relax. If you see someone speaking in a language you don't understand, relax. And purpose in your heart to join forces, not to isolate. We can't win even a little city if we isolate. We have to come together under the Lordship of Jesus. But I do say this to all the musicians and the artists, humbly. This is the day that a new sound is coming to the earth. These are the days that we should all purpose in our heart to hear heavenly melodies, heavenly harmonies, that we should not be talked into what would sell before we were talked into what would sell Jesus. And I believe that God, who takes the foolish things to confound the wise, doesn't he? Is that what's his name? Is that? Come up here. You, put your hand up. There are people standing in the shadows that no one's ever heard of that are sold out. I know his father. I remember you called me years ago about the music. But I just want you to join with us. If you have music in you, would you just lift up your hand wherever you are? Now, don't put them down. Lift them up high because this is significant. Look around you. I say as a servant of the Lord in the name of Jesus that heavenly sounds come to you. I say as a servant of the Lord in the name of Jesus, heavenly songs come to your house. I say heavenly strategies to put sounds that control the atmosphere of earth come to you now. Whoever you are and whatever your place or position in life, reach out and grab that by faith. Because God is not a respecter of giftings. And His plans are to cause the earth to be just like heaven. Jesus said, Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
It's time for the atmosphere of earth to be penetrated with sounds of righteousness, sounds of peace, sounds of redemption, sounds of forgiveness, sounds of cleansing, sounds of victory, sounds of healing, sounds of divine orchestrations. This is the day. Those of you that had your hands up, keep your hands up. If you are in the sound arena, Satan hates you because you are an infiltration to his domain. He's the prince of the power of the air. And so as a servant of God, I come against every strategy, every scheme to rob you from the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I come against every strategy, every wrong thinking, every injury, every injustice, anything that would stop you or cause you to pull away from who God has called you to be and what God has called you to do. I call you free from it now in the name of Jesus. And I say the sounds of heaven are released in your life now in the name of Jesus. And I say that to all of you humbly. No matter how great you play, if you stand by someone who plays great, you will play greater. No matter how wonderfully gifted you are, if you isolate yourself, you'll become stale and stagnant. Because music is a gift of God that God put in the earth to control the atmosphere of the earth. And when you come together, and you make music in one accord, it's that one accord principle. When you make music in one accord, darkness cannot stop it. It, imme it immediately devastates and stills darkness. When you read that verse, the praise stills the avenger, that word means it makes him stand at attention. Literally, when we sing songs of righteousness, songs of the redeemed, it causes darkness to be unable to move, Sandy. The darkness cannot move. Darkness cannot move. And you know, I covet great gifts for God. You all have great gifts for God. Jackie, you have great gifts. And when, when, you, when you get right down to it, it'll never be how many awards we've won. They get dusty and old. It will be the lives that we've been able to touch for the kingdom of God. And there's a new world order that's coming up. Mark my words. There's a new world order. There's a new world order. And it's the kingdom of light. And, and what has been... See, Satan has tried to put music under his thumb. Hold it in a small part in church. Make the ones that played in church uncomfortable because they were not recognized and they never felt like their gift was out. Not all of that is rebellion. Some of that is a strategy of darkness to limit the sounds of God. Because the greatest performers of all time come from the church. They come from the church. And it's not just the church's responsibility to put them up. It's, it's our responsibility as we pass the baton from one to the other. Ron, you pass the baton. Sandy, you pass the baton. It's, we know it's no longer about awards. It's not about that anymore. It's about how can we get this sound into someone who's gifted, who can go and influence their generation. That's how we do it. That's why, that's why you, you need to pray and believe God. Because probably around you somewhere is someone who's gifted to make sounds that will magnify the Lord. It's no longer about hit records. I stand before you. Some of you know what I've gone through. I went through hell. But I've watched God so bless me. I am so blessed today. I'm ten times more than I've ever been blessed in my life. I am ten, maybe a hundred. Maybe a hundred. Not because I'm great. God's so great. And you know what? When I hear my son, when I hear my son play, 
I'm never going, oh, I hope he misses that moment. I'm always pulling for him. Yeah. I'm going, and when I hear him play something that sounds like me, I go, oh. Do you know that when you sing, you sound just like Jesus? Yeah. Do you know that? When you, when you dance, Jackie, you, you look just like Jesus would look dancing. You do. You know, when you get that big smile, that's just like Jesus. And the world needs to see that. And Elsie, you can't do anything but smile. When you see Elsie smile, I see Jesus. When I see you smile, I see Jesus. Isn't it amazing? If you came in here and you had a headache or you had issues, they're gone. If you were mad, upset, have you noticed? They're gone. Because... When the sounds of heaven, when, when Chris plays, when his fingers touch those notes, it comes through those electronics and through that wire and into the speakers. And you might think it's just a sound, but it's really God on the inside of Chris exploding through the keyboards and coming out. That's why people can be healed and not even realize. Now, if that goes against your theology, you just need to change your theology. Because he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we were healed. So we have a right. Everybody needs a point of contact to stop. There's never a note until contact is made. There's never healing until contact is made. Play. Nothing happens without a point of connection. When you lift up your voice to God, that's a point of connection. When you open up your heart, I loved it when Cece was just standing here for so long. And I know she was doing it all spontaneously. I'm just laughing at God because music can just, we just stay right there, man. I mean, it's, that's why we have it. God put the gift of music in the earth through humans to declare his glory. It's a whole other arena. It's another arena of life. See? Elsie, thank you for allowing me to come and be a part. I love you. God bless you.